Hey guys, I've got a new project going on that I want to show you really quick. I had an order for a chest baldric. It is something that uh, I think people have wanted for a really long time. And part of what has held me back from really getting into it is it's going to have to be incredibly adjustable and the end user is going to have to custom tailor this to their own dimensions and uses. And that makes me a little bit nervous because if people can't adjust things to fit them or ruin things, then they're unhappy. And that becomes, that, that sounds stupid. Oh, just tell them to go screw off. It doesn't work that way. I don't want to treat my customers that way. But I think I've got a system that's going to work. And so right now this is a prototype. And what most of these are going to be is going to be no padding here. But we will have a padding option also. A main strap that's adjustable and will have a point to be attached. And then a secondary strap that's also adjustable. So what end users are going to have to do is these are all going to come with a huge amount of extra webbing and everybody's a different size and how you wear your knife is potentially going to be different and you better have really good security on your knife really good kydex or some really good secondary uh, locking on your sheath or you could really hurt yourself. So what I have here set up, this is a Diamondback Country Knives Razorback X in a sheath from Black Bear Custom Kydex. It's a really sweet deal because I can get to a lot of steel really quickly and really conveniently and it is very nice. It's something to get used to for me. And this Kydex is very, very good. Uh, and I've got these slots milled in it so I could put my own one inch webbing in here. Now, how these slings are going to ship is going to be with duffel clips. Duffel clips are relatively universal. You can use them for just about anything but they're not always the best. This duffel clip, it's metal. It sticks out just a little bit. And I don't know how comfortable it could be. At you, it, it, it could certainly be uncomfortable. So the sling itself is going to be shipped with enough extra size that anybody can, ad can adjust if they put their minds to it. This sling system to fit any knife of a size that they actually want to carry. Um, but it's going to take, it's going to be on the person to get it set up the way that they want to get it set up. Um, and having a sheath like this sheath from Black Bear Custom Kydex, this is a big deal having this these slots having this modularity is a big deal and this is part of what you pay for when you get a really really good custom sheath this sheath came with a beautiful leather dangler i took it off now i'm using it for something else i can do that i've got options and kydex kydex is this is an amazing amazing material in the hands of a skilled craftsman. I am going to have this customer's sling made and shipped today. I intend to have these on the website by cut on custom order next week. And I hope to never have any revisions in the design. I hope the design will be everything that people need it to be immediately. I already got the spider webs off this trail just like an hour and a half ago, but they're all back. Anyways, 
Yeah, so I am I am a little bit nervous about dropping this product. It will be uh, somewhat expensive, um, and if you adjust it incorrectly, getting in and out of it will be a pain in the butt. And what you're going to want to do, you want to adjust this. You want you're going to want to leave yourself some extra length. I'm going to have a tri glide here. You're going to want to adjust it to where you want it to stay. And you're going to want to secure your extra length here so you don't have anything dangling like this. And that means that you're going to take scissors. You're going to cut excess webbing off. You're going to burn it with a Bic lighter and you're going to seal the end. And you're going to set this whole thing up. Uh, this side is going to have extra webbing at the top in front of the padding if you order padding. So that you've got a lot of extra here. And then you're going to have a lot of extra here. Look, if you, if you buy this sling and you want to put this knife, uh, we're looking at a, I believe, a 9-inch blade here, 5-inch handle. So we're looking at a 14-ish inch blade with not an oversized kydex sheath. I think this is a good balance of size on this kydex sheath. If you weigh 450 pounds and you want to strap, strap a bussy sword onto your chest right here, I want to offer you enough length to do that. But that means that my guys who are 125 or 130 pounds and five foot four are going to be cutting feet of webbing off uh, to get it sized. And I don't have a problem with that. I'm just concerned about people being disappointed if they can't get it fit the way they want it. So the reason that I'm doing this video, I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention, let you know how this goes. Once this product is official, I will have to do a in-depth uh, installation, sizing, proper use type video. I am pretty excited about the product. I know that it's not going to be for everyone. Um, but it will be an interesting option. So let me know if you guys have any ideas. I do want, by the way, to give a shout out to Diamondback Country Knives. Uh, he moved, so he hasn't been. He hadn't made knives for a little while. His books are open. He is what I would consider a more premium maker. And when I say that, what I mean is maker slash artist uh, he will make you a, a more simple knife at a great price or he will make a knife for a prince in Saudi Arabia who crashes Bugattis for fun um, his prices are really good for his attention to detail and the work that he does he's an incredibly talented maker again shout out to Black Bear Custom Kydex he does some fantastic Kydex. My other Kydex guy is Doug Wilson at Yellowhawk Custom Kydex. Sometimes one or other of these guys is more busy. Uh, you know, hit them up. If you want leather, Michael Spaniers at Spirit of the Bear Designs can hook you up. But a sheath being worn like this in leather is going to be much more strap retention dependent. So I don't think it's going to be something that you're going to want to carry around without the button snaps ever. And the sheath also, I don't think it's going to be well suited for a top draw. But here's the other thing. This is going to be versatile enough, ideally, so that you can wear it however you want. So I guess we're just going to have to see how this goes. Um, but again, this is where we're going. This is where we're at. I would love to hear your thoughts, comments, suggestions. Maybe I need to name it something other than the chest baldric. But, uh, there you go. I'll talk to you there and I hope that you have a blessed day.